Now this is the formula to convert between moles and mass. Now you've already done molar mass, uh, which is grams per mole from the periodic table. And so grams is actually mass and the number of moles is N. Uh, and so you've got, you've already actually know this formula. So if you rearrange that, uh, so that is this uh, times both sides by N, um, sorry, uh, times both sides by n, that crosses out, divide both sides by a large m, that crosses out, and there you go, you've got number of moles equals mass on molar mass. Um, and so you can work it out that way. Um, so just uh, reiterate those, so the little n means number of moles in moles, little m means mass in grams, and the big m is molar mass in grams per mole from the periodic table. So you need to know those things. And just a general um, reminder, formula substitute units for everything in chemistry, and uh, this is actually should be a labeled uh, labeled here, so N in brackets of, of what the actual element is. Okay, so I'm just going over some examples. How many moles are there in one gram of sodium chloride? So here we have the labeled, uh, labeled formulas um, here, especially here, and so Sodium chloride is mass on molar mass, so we've got one gram, so we put the one gram in there and we worked out what the molar mass is. So sodium is there, chlorine is there, so that's the molar mass, so put that in there. And so one divided by 58 is 0 0.0171 moles of sodium chloride. And just an equation that asks for something different than just the number of moles, asking you to play around with the equation. So now we're looking for um, how many grams, so looking for the mass. So um, that would be number of moles times molar mass. So if you times both sides by M, uh, that crosses out, you get that formula there. Okay, so the labeled formula, well, it's not labeled there and it should be. So um, H2O equals number of moles times molar mass. Being a bit naughty there. All right, uh, and so the number of moles we've worked out is given us two in the equation up here, uh, in the question up here, so there's the two. And the molar mass we had to work out, so two hydrogens and oxygen is 16, so that works out to 18 grams per mole, and we put that down there. Uh, so two times 18 is 36, so we get uh, 36 grams. Okay, so you need to uh, practice a few of those before you start getting into mass-mass stoichiometry.